Okay, so welcome, welcome. Williams here, okay? And in our today's video, I just want to I just want to show you how to balance a vehicle, okay? M many people have been asking that I show you how to balance a manual, okay? On a hilly place. This place is hilly, okay? So it's it's a steep uh, uh place. So that's why I've parked right now. I just want to show you uh, how to avoid the vehicle going backwards okay so i want to show you how you can do it okay so uh, i'll be in a toyota hilux today this is a toyota hilux a 2016 toyota hilux okay i'll show you just in a bit okay so this one okay i'll show you in a bit you see it it's a toyota hilux okay so i'll be showing you on how to to balance it i've stopped here so that i can show you okay let me just go outside i show you how the the elevation is or how the land is and how hilly this place is so like you can see here i'm outside right now okay so this place is is hilly so it was it's going up there then you come down then you start going up even this side okay so this is how it is okay so this is how it is okay i mean a toyota hilux a 2016 toyota hilux okay so let me just go back inside the vehicle so that i can show you okay so that's the inside like i was saying that's the inside okay so i'm back inside now so this is a toyota hilux okay like like you can see so it's a six speed it's a six speed okay so um, without wasting much of your time let me just start the vehicle so that you can so yeah so i'll start the vehicle so provided your your handbrake is just okay so like in this case my handbrake is just okay yeah so i've engaged the handbrake i'm not on the brakes there okay so the vehicle can't go backwards because of the handbrake yeah so um, So for, for a Toyota Hilux, for this one, for you to start the vehicle, you always have to be on the crutch, okay? Without being on the crutch, you can't start. The vehicle can't start, okay? You see there, nothing. But if I go on the crutch, immediately I go on the crutch, the vehicle has started, okay? So that's... They are different cars. So in a Toyota Hilux 2016 model and, and going up, up to the latest ones, you always have to be on the crutch, okay? Then after you start, you can even let go of the crutch now since you've already started itself to do that, okay? So that is my dashboard. So I will start now, okay? So I will engage to gear one here, okay? You can always balance this in gear one. You can't do it in any other gear. Okay, gear two would always require you to put in a lot of gas for it to balance. So it means it's not possible. Okay, it is possible, but it's not. Yeah, for the sake of smooth moving, for the smooth uh, smooth moving of a vehicle, I would recommend you start in gear one. Okay, one or reverse. Okay, the lowest gears. Okay, so I'll engage to gear one. Okay, so that is gear one. Okay, so there are two types of balancing okay there's one balancing where i use the the handbrake okay and then there's one balancing where i don't use the handbrake okay so i'll teach you both types of balancing both kinds of balancing okay so the first one that i'll start with is uh, where you use the handbrake okay where i use the handbrake okay so for in our today's lesson sorry a bit Okay, this thing that is supposed to be here has gone inside. So for me to, to, to disengage this, I have to place it down there using something and then I let it go. Okay, so that, that is a, a, a disadvantage, a bit disadvantage because I want to show you how you can balance using the handbrake. Okay, but even though, uh, let, me, let me just show you so that you can know. Okay, so a vehicle, okay, let me just raise this up a bit. For the sake of teaching okay so it is in gear one right now then if you check there i'm on the crutch and i'm on the brake okay so i want to balance this using the the the, the handbrake 
okay so i'll start provided like i said provided the handbrake is just okay if i let go of the brake the vehicle won't go backwards okay so i'll start letting go of the crutch okay i'll start letting go of the crutch okay then i'm applying a bit of some gas here just a bit okay though it's not very important gas is not important what's what's the most important thing here is the crutch okay so i'll be letting go of the crutch okay so i'll reach a certain stage i'll be letting go of the crutch just a bit bit by bit okay then the vehicle reaches a certain stage the vehicle will reach a certain stage where you even feel it wants to move but it can't move because of the handbrake okay there is something that is holding it which is the handbrake okay you just hear how it's vibrating okay the engine okay how it wants to move but it can't move because of the handbrake okay so that is the first kind of balancing okay so i'll start letting go of the crutch i'll start letting go of the crutch okay start letting go of the crutch i'm letting go of the crutch a bit by bit so the vehicle wants to move right now even without the gas here the vehicle wants to move okay but it can't move because of the of the handbrake so i'll disengage my handbrake then the vehicle start moving forward because it's already in motion right now it's already in motion though it's not moving but it's in motion but because of the handbrake it can't move okay but i can feel the engine i can feel how it's vibrating here it wants to move but it can't because of the handbrake so i will disengage the handbrake okay i'll disengage the handbrake so just a bit let me okay so i will disengage the handbrake okay so i'm disengaging the handbrake then the vehicle start moving okay look at how the vehicle is moving okay it's moving forward right now it's moving it didn't even go backwards not even a bit okay it didn't go backwards not even a bit okay so i've discovered something let me i'll be using this i'll be using this to place in there okay i'll be using this let me do it again okay so i'll like i was showing you there okay so the handbrake is engaged i'm not on the brake right now okay so i'll start letting go i'll start letting go of the crutch until i feel that the vehicle wants to move okay until i feel that the vehicle wants to move then i'll start letting go of the crutch of, of the of the handbrake sorry okay so i can already feel it i don't know if if the if the the, the sound on on the video can detect that okay So the vehicle wants to move. You can even see. Look at the the gear lever. I don't know if. Okay. You just feel how the vehicle wants to change, but it, how the vehicle wants to move, but it can't move because of the of the because of the the handbrake. So I'll just let go of the handbrake. Then the vehicle will start moving. Okay the vehicle start moving i'm not even going i'm not even pressing on the gas here i've not even done not even a bit on the gas okay not even a little bit on the gas i've not been on the gas all this time okay the vehicle is moving okay so just the crutch just using the crutch just using just using the crutch the vehicle can even can even move okay so this was the first type of of balancing okay so let me stop the vehicle again i'll stop the vehicle then show you the second type of balancing okay so the first type like i said it's just using the 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 crutch and then the handbrake okay it's just the crutch and the handbrake okay crutch handbrake that's all that that was the first type of hand of, of balancing and then provided it's in gear one okay the lowest gear you can't do that in gear two but gear one 
okay so let me go to the second type so the second type will be using the crutch and the accelerator just that you put it in gear one then use the crutch and the accelerator that's all okay so that is the second type of balancing okay so for this one for this one yeah, for example if you are if you are moving okay if i'm coming okay i'm going to stop where it is not straight it is steep like okay which will need balancing for me to balance for me to stop and then you for example i want to join a road and then the road is not flat okay i can balance using this one that i'm about to to show you now so for this one so for this one the vehicle you have to put it in gear one like i said the lowest gears but then you have to go you have to use the crutch and then you have to use the accelerator okay the crutch and the accelerator but mainly like i've been showing you in most of the videos the most important uh, pedal there is the crutch okay this is what distinguishes a manual and an automatic okay so even this one that i'll be teaching you you can still use it you can still balance the vehicle just using the crutch okay just using one one leg you can still balance it okay so like i was showing you okay i don't know if you, if you can still if you can still see how how steep this place is okay let me just show you somewhere it is more steep okay the steepest point that's where i am right now okay so i'll engage to gear one i'll go on the crutch i've engaged to gear one okay then i'll let go of the brake the the the, the hand brake is not engaged okay it's disengaged it's not working okay the vehicle is moving backwards okay so i'm um, this one for this one it's just basically okay Okay, I'm on the crutch there. The vehicle is is not moving. I'm just still here. Okay, so basically this one. If I press the crutch all the way down, the vehicle start going backwards. Okay, if I press it all the way down, the vehicle start going backwards. Let me just show you. The, if I start pressing it down, the vehicle is already starting to move backwards. Okay, you see that? Okay. Then if I start if I start letting go of the crutch, the vehicle start moving forward. Okay? The vehicle start moving forward. The vehicle will be moving forward. Even without going on the gas there. Yeah. Even without going on the gas. You see? If I'm if I start letting go, it's going forward. Okay? If I start if I start pressing it, it will start going backwards. It will start the vehicle start going backwards. Okay? The vehicle start going backwards. If I the more I press it is going backwards then the more i let go it will start going forward okay so for this one it is more ideal when you're coming from a flat ground okay from a flat ground then you start going up okay when you start going up meaning when you come to a stop you don't stop using the brake you don't go on the brake okay but you just balance the vehicle okay but you just you just balance the the vehicle okay so let me okay let me just go backwards so that i can do it now in real world so that you can see what i'm talking about okay so i've come at, at a flat i'm, I'm at a, i'm on a flat ground right now okay i'm on a flat ground so i want to start now i want to start going okay i want to start going so like i was saying this one is more ideal when you're moving you're already in motion then you come to a stop somewhere where it is it is steep and then you stop there so you stop using the the crutch and the accelerator but it's mainly the crutch okay but for for the sake of teaching i'll just t tell you that it's the crutch and the accelerator but as you get used with the vehicle you you come to understand that you can just use that you can just use the 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 crutch okay so in this one i'll start moving okay i'll start moving i'll start moving i'll put I'll push to gear one, okay? Gear one, then I'll start moving, okay? Gear one, then I'll start moving, okay? Then I, when I reach where the where the road is steep, that's when I'll stop. Now I want to stop using, I want to stop using the, I want to stop using the the crutch and the accelerator, okay? So that I show you how you can stop using the crutch and the accelerator, okay? 
so I want to stop using the crutch okay so I'm midway uh, the road is steep okay it's very steep here okay so I'll go on the crutch there I'll go on the crutch I'll go on the crutch okay then balance it as it okay so I'm on the crutch the vehicle has stopped here okay the vehicle has stopped okay the vehicle has stopped but I'm on the crutch and the accelerator just the crutch and the accelerator so it's the same concept here if I start letting go of the of the crutch meaning the vehicle will start moving okay so the vehicle is moving already the vehicle is moving okay the vehicle is moving but if I if I start pressing on the crutch the vehicle will stop then so I balance it there so basically okay for this one basically what I'm doing is if I start letting go of the crutch okay the vehicle will start moving forward okay but according to how steep the, the ground is according to how steep the ground is okay there's a certain level of the crutch where the vehicle will stop okay it means the force is not it's it's equal the force for the ground and the force the, the vehicle the force that the vehicle is applying is the same okay the meaning the vehicle will stop okay but if i start letting go of the crutch if i start lazing my my foot meaning the vehicle will stop okay if i start pressing on it then the vehicle will start moving backwards okay so this is the other type of of balancing but this one you need to be experienced for you to understand this one so meaning the one which is more uh, easy to understand is where i use the the handbrake because that one the handbrake will act as your brake okay so meaning you just have to balance the vehicle using the crutch and the accelerator then the handbrake this id will stop you from moving backwards okay then you put in gear and when you feel that the vehicle wants to move that's when you can now let go of the handbrake then the vehicle will move forward okay so that is how that is how you you deal with this one so the second one it is more on the side of when you are when you are already used with vehicles you are already experienced okay so this one it's not even difficult but like I, I was saying you just have to use one one leg okay on the on the accelerator okay because I've balanced this vehicle it's in gear one right now okay it's in gear one but it's not moving okay it's not moving currently because I'm on the I've balanced it using the the crutch okay so I'll I'll start I'll start the vehicle is moving right now it's moving because because I'm, I've released the, 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 the crutch a bit okay I've released the crutch a bit so the vehicle is moving but if I want a vehicle not to move I'll just press okay I'll just press a bit on the water and the vehicle start moving backwards okay the vehicle start moving backwards if you see there if you see there the vehicle is moving backwards okay the vehicle is moving backwards okay the vehicle is moving backwards the vehicle is moving backwards because of what i'm doing okay so this is what i wanted to show you okay thanks for your support yeah